Hello, my lovelies. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to another episode of Journaling 101. I've decided after the reception of our last video that I'm gonna make this a series. So it's gonna be a journaling 101 series where I tell you um, kind of like what I used to journal and um, kind of like how to use it and things like that. I'm hoping this series will be useful for you to help you start off your journaling journey. I know when I first started, um, I feel like there's not a lot of resources like this. Like um, there's a lot of other resources about like bullet journaling, about scrapbooking and other things. But for collage journaling, I feel like I was just looking at other people's stuff and um, things. So this is basically something that I feel like it's gonna be good if I was starting. So I hope this would be useful. Um, the what we are talking about today are PT tapes, as known as pet tapes as well. So I think if you are a regular on my channel, you already know how much I love them because I always include them in my stationary favorites and um, I just generally really love using them. So you might be already familiar with this, but if you're not a regular here, thank you so much for being here. I hope this is useful to you. Um, I do make uh, a lot of journaling um, contents so if it's something that you're looking to get into or if it's something you really love then um, consider subscribing for more content but it's entirely up to you and um, if you're new welcome and thanks for being here and um, I hope this video is useful to start off your journaling journey or if you're already seasoned journaler but wants to learn about pet tapes as well this is like a I'm hoping to, um, I've used this for a while, probably close more than a year. So I think um, I've picked up some like tips and tricks um, in regard to like how to use them, how to store them um, and the different types of them and everything and how to get them. So I'm hoping if, you, if it's something you want to get into, then this would be helpful for you. I'm, go I'm just going to start straight away because I feel like this is going to be quite a lengthy video, but I'll put down all the chapters down below so you can kind of skip over if you need to. So, um, first is what are the pet tapes? Um, pet tapes are actually made of plastics mostly. Um, what distinguish pet tapes from other tapes are there are two layers. So one layer is a sticker layer and the back and there's a backing layer at the back as well. So um, you can actually peel this off to get and this the first um, layer is actually sticky so you can just stick it on any way you want. Um, the great thing about this is um, I feel like for me it's like a, um, a DIY sticker almost. Um, a sticker you already get the kiss card and you can just use it straight away with pet tapes They you actually have to cut around it. Well, you can use it like this straight away if that's what you want, right? But what I usually do is I cut around the um, parts that I really like and then I just um, Paste them peel them off peel the backing off and then use them on my spreads. I will show you some examples of um, pet tape users I use a lot of pet tapes on this journal just because it just, I don't know, something about this journal makes me really want to use pet tape. So there's a lot of pet tapes in this journal. Um, a lot of these are pet tapes and um, they're easy to use, they're easy to layer. These are from two different pet tapes so you can mix and match as you'd like and um, they're really easy to use basically and I've been really loving using them. So these are from here, like as you can see, that is that one, and then this is, is this, yeah, that's the, that one, and that one is that one. So um, these are very easy to use, and what I love about this is it's like you don't really need to be able to paint to have a beautiful journal. So I'm not a great drawer or painter, so um, I really love using these pet tapes for my journal to make it more aesthetic. So um, that are pet tapes, um, and they come in a few different. Um, they come in a few different types, basically. So um, there's a. So there's a. This is a matte pet tape and um, 
the look of it is more frosted than glossy per tape so these are glossy and this one is matte I will compare it by um, adding something that is a different color at the back please hold Okay, I will compare it by adding something that is a little bit more colored at the back and you can see the difference probably better. So if you can see with these, the, the matte pet, pet tape is more frosty. So when you put it against um, colored paper, you can see the, uh, that a little bit more. So you have to be more careful about cutting through this. But generally, I really like matte matte tapes because the um, the texture I know are not very glossy because you can see it if I do this and they catch the light the glossy one kind of like catches light a little bit more so if that's the look that you want that it will catch as light and be a little bit more glossy the gloss pet tape are for you but if you like something more subtle that actually just blends in nicely with the background uh, pet tape, matte pet tape is probably what you want so feel free to actually experiment with some not all pet tapes comes in matte and glossy so you have to kind of see what you like like this comes in matte and glossy so I got the matte one but this one on the bottom only comes in glossy but I really love the design so I got the glossy one um, so that's the two types of pet tapes we also have a few other kind of types um, they are called uh, they are washi um, pet tapes as well well I don't know how to call it right because these are washi tape with backing and not a pet tape but it's generally being used as a pet tape so it's a little bit hard term to like name but this is basically the same it comes with a backing as well that you can peel but just the difference is this is on like white semi-transparent ish washi paper so um, if you cut through this you have to be very careful as well because on white paper you can see the um, the outline of the white if you, you choose to leave it so there's that one as well and one of the new ones that I've seen around are um, pet tapes that are already pre-cut these are very useful because this lets you use it without actually cutting it like this one from Dolce Vita as you can see the white um, section are actually cut marks so you can just peel off from the edge and you already have that really beautiful like you know sides as a stamp I'll bring you a little bit closer so you can see so that they're ready to use so these are very like very nice to have as well but it's a bit more rare to find because not every brand actually does like this and I'm pretty sure it's a little bit more a little bit harder for them to make because obviously it has to be pre-cut as well so there's that type as well and another one that I've recently um, discovered are tracing paper rolls so they these ones are only one um, these are only one layer and they're tracing paper um, or like vellum type so um, depending on what kind of look you like this one I like it because it has this like frosted look on the top if you if you see that it has like a bit of a white frosty look so uh, and these are great these are usually made with a lot of white so if I unroll this until the white part this is like a lot of them actually have a lot of white ink on it because it's such a nice look especially on top of craft paper so there's not that's another type there hasn't been too much of these um, kind of tracing paper rolls out because it's I feel like it's a new technology kind of thing but some sort of fern does some sorry probably really noisy some sort of fern does a lot of these kind of tapes and they have a lot of whites on them so if you want to kind of look for something like this that's where I um, that's where that's what I advise you to look at so yes that's the different types of all the pet tapes and now I'm gonna um, show you how to actually use them which is very exciting because obviously you'd wanna like you know start using them 
I cut around them to use them usually and I will show you as well how to store them depending on how you like it I'll just give you a few examples on how I store them so so with something like this you'd want to cut around the design you want and um, you want to be pretty close the closer you are the better it will look usually and um, once you get it something you eliminated and already cut around it they can just peel it off and stick it um, the peeling can get a little bit hard because um, it's a very thin piece of plastic so obviously it's gonna be a little bit hard to peel what I usually do is if you take um, the pad of your thumb or any finger and you just gently push over the corners um, and kind of like push it to the other side so like you wanted to peel it that way right because um, you want to peel it that way so you gently push it on that side and then you try to roll it off to the other directions usually it's easy to peel so what I usually do this actually depends on the quality of your tapes as well some tape the backing is really thin so it's harder for you to actually peel them but just be patient I think you'll probably get them after you've used them a couple of times but usually with this you can just push and then hold and then it will just slowly like you know peel off and then you can paste it to somewhere else so that's how you use them i've also before i actually um discovered this like peel method i also used the front of a craft knife to actually poke through the ends to actually pull them but that takes a lot more time and since discovering this hack where you can just do that I actually have saved so much time using pet tape so hopefully that's useful for you um, storage wise I have a few different types of storage because I'm a little bit of a storage fiend um, so I will show that to you today because you prob it's probably better for me to show you all my um, different types of storage so then you can make your own informed decision or on how you actually want to store your pet tapes so obviously you can store them in your drawer just like that um, or if you have a little um, area to store them you can even just stack them up in the side of your table as well like so stack it like that you can do that as well um, but the thing is I have this thing where I usually want things that are I don't always want things that are on like the next part of the pet tapes if that makes sense like sometimes I want something in the middle of the roll because these designs repeat right so there's something you call the loop this is a long loop so I won't show you this one but um, what with this for example this is one loop as you can see that repeats that girl repeats so we call that one loop and then sometimes you want designs that are earlier in the loop sometimes you want early designs that are later on the loop and I find that if I keep it in their rolls it's harder to get into the later section of the loop so usually what I do is I cut them into strips and then I store them in a few different places um, I'm still trying to kind of figure out how I would like to for all of them to go so right now they're in a few different types of storages and um, I would like I would love to actually consolidate it all into one but I'm still kind of like playing around with what what I can do with all this but the feature state is to actually put them all in one place so I don't have to go hunting in a few different books to find the pet tapes I want and I know my collection is growing that's why they're all like all in separate little books but um, we'll see how it goes and um, yeah I'll, I'll just take you through one of um, this one by one and then you can make your informed decision on which one is better for your kind of like pet tape storage needs basically so um, the first time that I um, collected pet tapes I actually put them on this pocket book by Travels Notebook so they come in little pockets like this which are easy to slot in stuff so this is what I use for my to storage my pet tape strips um, the rolls itself just lives in my drawer until I need to refill 
my storage. This is the first one that I've gotten. And they're the B... What size is this? I'm pretty sure I kept the thingy. So this is A5 Slim. And this is A6 Slim. Um, this is the first one I've gotten. And I've used it for um, pet tapes a fair bit. Like you can see, there's still some... Like I need to get go through my this to reorganize and things like that. But you know what? You're always reorganizing, right? I feel like me as a journal or I'm always reorganizing my stuff and I actually really love like finding like storage and reorganizing my stuff so this is why it's still a little bit everywhere because I haven't gotten time to actually sit down and process and how I want to kind of like store them properly but I feel that this is actually a good time for me to actually tell you um, all these different kinds of pet tape storages because um, I don't know it depends on how you kind of want to store them would be good right okay so let's start with the first one so this is what I first used to actually pop in my pet tapes as you can see there's still some in there like this is some um, some of the older ones that I've put in but the, the thing with this is because they're quite tall if you have pet tapes that are little in like have little um, have little designs they tend to get lost and the thing is I end up with a lot of small bits and pieces like the like hang on let me get something from this like for example this and if I put it in here it just goes in and you lost it you have to kind of like grab it and because this is not transparent you kind of already forgot that it's there you can kind of see from there like um, the little ghosting of things right but you don't always it's a little bit hard to get to so what I ended up doing is making myself this little insert thing which is basically just form a square paper folded like that so when I do this something that is a bit taller um, take for example this that would like really get lost you can actually just pop it here and have it picking out like that so that's a that's one of the hack that I had when I f first just have this book right and then I realized it tends to um, kind of like be really thick around this size because because on this section of the book because obviously I'm like adding so much more to this so um, it wasn't like a very great solution for me so I ended up buying the, the smaller version of it because this is better for those little sections um, these are best for like pet tapes that are a little bit bigger in their sections that's how I separated them because when you see things like these even if you put it in you still can see it kind of like pop out right same with like these rows of pet tapes and things like that um but then again for the for something that is small like these because when i first started they didn't come out with pet tapes that has so much little details as, such as this one so um this was working for a for a while until i decided that the the stuff are too small and it's get, still getting lost kind of thing so what i after that what i went what i went to get was this spiral spiral ring notebook window envelope same all the three of these are from travels company and um they contain stuff and then i still realize that it's hard to get this is the problem, right? These little bits and pieces are actually the problem. So I realized these are still getting lost inside. So there, there was a, a very uh, nice lady in my Instagram that saw me struggling with the little bits and pieces and told me that Travels Notebook actually um, sells these um, pockets. So these are called the film pocket sticker and you can stick it to anything so she advises me to stick it to um well she had it on here so you can that's actually a perfect size to stick over here as well so that's how she has it she have the little things in here to stick in her pocketbook so i decided to put it here because i've already put my pet tapes that has like little things in this book so i've Stick it there it gets a little bit sticky to the front because like if you're trying to take some of the things it gets sticky so you have to wiggle it 
a little bit so but that's not much of a problem but this just gets a little bit lost inside because sometimes I have more than one type of pet tapes I categorize them by like colors because this is most for well colors and kind of like type ish because this is all my small flowers this is all for like the fall looking like red and brown colors and this is for my kind of like more green stuff and this is all my kind of cool tone flowers and things like that so i have a few of those and this has been working proper like this has been very useful to use like this but the annoying thing is it sticks sometimes so like that that one tends to stick a little bit and you have to kind of like gently peel it off because it's plastic and plastic so when you kind of like close it and it sticks to, towards each other right so there's that as well that i've been using and i've been liking um but recently i started using something like this which is basically these are meant to be sticker um storages and you pop in like stickers on them i have another one that i've put my um rub on stickers so this is how they're meant to be used right to have stickers and stuff but i figured you know what it's quite tall maybe i can use it for my pet tapes as well so i've been trying to use this as well but they aren't as good as for things that has a little bits and pieces in um the pet tapes as usual like you, you know this by now that most of my problem comes from that little bits and pieces that you know you cannot stick anywhere and it's a bit straggly another thing that i've seen people use is to use a sticker release notebook and um if they're really diligent and if you really like fussy cutting sometimes they just fussy cut a lot of their um pet tapes to prepare them and then stick it stick them in into like a sticker release book such as i have one right here i don't use it too often because i i am not a fan of fussy cutting but i figured i'll let you know this anyway so you can if you're you're someone that don't mind fussy cutting maybe this is going to be better for you but basically once you fussy cut them you can stick them all in in your paper release um paper like a sticker book actually I shouldn't I should stop saying paper or this paper that's confusing your sticker book basically and you can just peel them off and then off the off you go you can use them so if you have a lot of time to properly fussy cut your stickers this can this can work really well I just am not the type of that really likes fussy cutting so I prefer to fussy cut my tapes on the go when I journal um, this like you can do something like this as well i only do this f with my washi tapes that needed to be cut but doesn't have a backing because i do have some of those wonder if i can show you guys it's like some of these tapes they are sticky and they are like normal washi tapes but there's a lot of white around them that i would need to like cut around with a craft knife so that's how i use my um sticker book mostly but there's a lot of people that um fussy cuts their pet tapes and then just stick them in ready to use i find that very useful as well but i'm not that patient to cut fussy cut a bunch of different um kind of like little pieces so that's on me and not on them and if that's what if you like fussy cutting then it's something that you should consider as well that is a very nice way to use it but i think my latest try at organizing pet tapes comes in the form of a binder <laughs> so um these i only got this recently so i've only trialed it for a few days so i'm not sure um if um i will love it but so far i really like it so i figured i will include that in as well um so you can have another different storage idea i'm not sure which one you'll use um so these one are there are four pockets usually these are for k-pop like photo cards but i find that they work quite well 
for pet tapes as well um, I was gonna get the two they actually some shops have one that just like two long compartments that are vertical like that but I figured if you put in like something really long it might get stuck and it's hard to come out especially if it has a lot of little pieces so what I did instead I get these four ones so I can for the bottom one I can pop in um, longer ones and it'll just slightly co cover the top ones and if I have like a shorter ones that I can cut into shorter strips like this one it can lives in the top obviously this is not filled yet I'm still working on it I'm still seeing if I actually like it before I reorganize my whole pet tape collection because it's probably gonna take a while because I do have a lot um, the fun things about this are you are you can get one of these like dividers so you can divide it up properly like you know like this is my flower sections and then this is like some odd different types that are flowers and then I have my um, what is this like a section for all my girl character stickers and things like that so you can divide them up and something that I find really great about this because this you can open right because it's a binder you know you can open these things if you have a new pet tape and you want to categorize it you can just add an extra um, like sleeve in between and then you can go instead of with with this if I find if I want to add an extra slot here I have to move everything to the next one and I usually don't reorganize it because it takes too much effort right so with this it'll be really easy and it's easier to like move around and I feel like if um, one day you want to like journal outside but you know you won't use some of these you can just take it out for a bit and then just take the ones that you like I just love the flexibility of having of being able to just take these out and put it back in if you get what I mean like it's easy to organize and things like that and so far I think I'm really liking this system and I'm considering to make my own insert for it just for fun because I like DIYing things so that might come in I don't know when I figured out a good thing about it I can make a tutorial so let me know if you're interested in that because you definitely can make your own insert um, a pocket insert and things like that um, so this is my light latest one that I want to trial and I feel like it's going to be a great one except that's those straggling little bits and pieces still so what I also am planning to do is probably use these to stick um, those but also these are these are binders so essentially you can get little pockets as well for you to, and then punches them on the side to like you know catch all the straggling little bits so I really love a binder because you can DIY a lot of stuff so it'll be really fun to actually try and DIY this to be my perfect like PET storage solution so I know that was a really really long section um, but I hope that's useful I know it, that's probably way too much detail than what you signed up for because you're probably just starting but you know what if you can find out um, things that you like in a storage in the beginning you'll save yourself from getting a lot of different things and then not using it so I hope that really helps you for the storage um, ideas and do let me know all of out of all this if you're deciding to get it or if it's something that you'll get in the future because I'm very I'm very passionate about storage it's kind of like a really weird but I'm really passionate about storage so I'm always interested in knowing kind of like what people gravitate towards in terms of storage but also if you have any ideas of how you store your pet, pet tapes do let me know because I'm always really keen on like knowing um, new storage types okay that's the intermezzo basically that's how to store them I will like move this all aside because I feel like there's so much things here now now that um, I'm telling you about all this storage and everything so um, and the next section is where to actually get these lovely pet tapes right I will put down a, um, some stores below depending on where you live um, and kind of like who sells these there are a few good ones um, that I've ordered from and a few good ones that I've 
heard a lot from that they have a good range and things like that and just browse um, I will put all those down below but I might also put it up here we'll see um, there's a few good ones like if you're US based I know a lot of you guys are US based paper game is probably one of the um, ones that has a lot of pet tapes and very complete and um, like they have different types like they have pet tapes that i haven't seen in other shops basically so you can get them from there also there's a lot of asian based um stationery stores as well that ships internationally but if you're in us or european countries it might be a little bit more expensive for you shipping wise to get stuff from asia so um I have a few, I know of a few shops in Europe, which is like Kiroku and um, who else is in there? I will include a list. I will, I will try to research a little bit and give you a list. So depending on where you are, um, it'll probably be, those are probably the ones that are better like shipping wise for you. So I'll include that in the description. Um, and um, a few of brands that I really, 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 really do love are these, which is the Freckles Tea. Uh, she's a Taiwan brand that sells really nice PET tape. She's mostly on like watercolor flowers, which are the styles that I like. Um, but there's all these other creators that does a little bit more cutesy stuff, a little bit more like um grungy stuff this this sample that i've gotten that um is a little bit more like spooky is it i don't know like it's a it's a different kind of um style with what i usually do but i did get it because it's like the illustrations are beautiful for this one um another thing that i forgot to mention Another thing that I forgot to mention, this was taken like way back during the um, video, but I hope it's useful anyway. Some stores actually sell samples of this. So if you look at this, you know how this looks very thick. There's probably like 10 loops of the same designs, right? If, you, if all you wanted to do is basically um, try just a loop to see if you like it, then there's some stores that actually sell samples, which is like usually just a loop. Like this is a sample and it's just one loop. It's easy to use. And then once you decide if you like it or not, you can always like get some more samples or you can get the full thing, right? So if you're just starting off, I really advise you to just get samples first. I made a mistake uh, in the beginning of my journaling to I got excited and I just get full rolls, right? Because it feels more worth it that way. But um, it adds up. And I feel like if you're in the beginning and you're just trying to find your style, it's really useful to just get samples of things of one loop and then um, see if you actually finish that loop, see if you actually like that loop. Because usually with one loop, you actually realize if you like that and if it's your style or not. So get a loop and then um, decide if you like it. And if you like it, you can always get another sample or you can get the full roll, right? That's one of my, I feel like one of my biggest tip for um, any pet tape user that don't get the full, just get samples first. Um, and uh, cause like it's a lot. And like, if you don't journal a lot, you might be, you might not use all of it. Or um, you also, if you ha also have some friends in the community, you can swap with them with happy meals. Cause I, me with some friends were like, um, if we're talking, we're like, oh, I got this new pet tape. Do you want a loop? And then we'll swap loops. Like she'll give me a loop from another pet tape and I'll give, I'll give her a loop from a pet tape that she doesn't have. So it's a really nice thing in the community to do also to do happy meals and send each other like samples and things like that. Um, but yeah, so that's a big tip for me and from me anyway. I feel like people who start shouldn't get full rolls and just get samples because they're great. So anyway, um, coming into um, creators that I really love, right? Um, these are from 
freckle C and they make really detailed watercolor flowers. A lot of their stuff are flowers, but they sell other things like, as well. But the fl their flowers are like my one of my favorite flowers, so I really recommend them. Um, there's also Meow Illustrations who does really delicate watercolor flowers as well. So if you like flowers and watercolor flowers, they are re have really nice flowers. So I would recommend that as well. Also in the topic of more flowers, I also really like Lloyd Design. They do a lot of pet tapes. I feel like uh, before everyone starts doing pet tapes and because most of the creators do washi, um, washi tapes with release paper first and then they get into pet tapes but Lloyd Design is one of those that was already there even when people were still doing washi tapes so she has a lot of different types of flowers and animals and things like that so she's worthy to check out as well um, another new favorite that I, I discovered probably a few months back but I already started loving is some sort of fern they do some flowers as well. Their, their stuff are much more vibrant than some of the other ones because some of the other ones are quite pastel. So these, the, these lovely dandelion tapes are from some sort of fern, but they also do other things that aren't flowers. So they do um, like this. This is like their travel around tape. So if you want other things as well, they have that covered. They also do tracing paper rolls. I haven't gotten any, but I want to try it one day. Um, another that I ha have really loved is Plus Minus. They're not um, like flower based kind of tape, but they do kind of a lot of things that you can use for backgrounds and they're a little bit more vintage and grungy. So these are Plus Minus tapes, which are very beautiful for just like, sections on the side of your um, designs and things like that um, I think that's mostly mostly that's what I the creators that I've been enjoying and been getting things constantly um, so that's the creators that I really love so I think that about wraps it up um, if you have any questions about pet tapes that you want answered please feel free to leave them down below in the comments um, and I'm happy to answer them if I can if not um, I don't know we'll see <laughs> I will tell you if I can answer them but I will try my best to answer them if you have any questions um, and I will leave the links to the creators and the shops where I usually get them down below as well and um, yeah i hope that is useful and if you have it also if you have any uh suggestion on what i should cover next that will be useful as well because i'm thinking to make this an ongoing series because i feel when i stream at twitch sometimes people are asking what are those that you're using how do you use them where do you get them and everything so that was what um actually make me want to um, create this video so you guys actually know what it is and how to use it and how to best use it and it's kind of um, information that I've gotten from the past like year just using this so I hope it's useful and it's like things that I wish I know before I started you know going into all this pet tape stuff so I hope that's useful any questions leave them down below I will try to get another one of this series going on if it's helpful for you so do leave me feedback do leave me do let me know what you want me to cover next and um i shall see you on the next one thank you so much for being here i hope that's useful stay safe stay creative see you on the next one Bye bye